ladies and gentlemen, the Warps and the Crimson may have their differences, uh, many differences. Over the past several weeks, two wars have been waged. Potatoes have been stolen, as sheep have wandered past the podium. Uh, trees planted and trees burned. Warts have grown unchecked. Emperors have been lost. <laughs> Stupid sheep. <laughs> but we both unite and looking with hope towards our shining beacons. Uh, we so desperately need a uh, leading force in our futures. The steady hand of our, respect our respective governments to gently push things into a continuous state of order. As realm operator and wizard of Odd, I am more than happy to say that, that day has finally arrived. Two great leaders are about to be instated uh, to back our respective kings and emperors and lead the Warped and the Crimson for a better future for all. Thank you all very much. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just joking no. you're laughing my head off at the fact that I just pushed Max off the roof. <laughs> Thanks. Oh gosh. Where are we going? Okay. Telescope for respect. All right. All right. Here's your here's your uh, spyglass. It's called the warped and crimson. I say the warped goes first. All right. Let's I do too. Otherwise, take us through, take us through your plan. Well, yeah. When you stole my spyglass. All right. So the stage is just beyond here. Here it is. It's quite a beaut, if I do say so myself. Okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it from the gallows, though. <laughs> Where are you guys? Where'd you go? <laughs> Sam was taming a horse. Good question. Of course you were. Uh, Sam. <laughs> They're all the way down there. You get... no, I'm right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just saw through your head. I saw all of your future plans. I'm I'm honestly so surprised that uh, that Devin didn't run for. Yeah, I know. Prime it's, Minister. It's interesting. So yeah. Considering he's <laughs> the only one doing anything. Well, I'm actually uh, I've actually been doing some uh, some stuff. I haven't been building great yeah. monoliths or whatever, but I've been gathering a lot of yeah. resources like They're miles the away from here. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I've gotten yeah. resources miles away from here. Yeah, and they're the only ones who start wars. So, like, the only ones who started wars. So, I think that says something about them. Hey, you're here. Who sure started a war? Yeah, but that doesn't count. <laughs> what? That doesn't count because it's not Devin and Donovan. I mean, I guess so. But so they're not the only ones who start wars. They've yeah. only started one war. Anyway, all right. Shall we begin? Hey, yes. What, are you, go, go introduce yeah. the candidate, Bob. Go introduce. Oh, okay. Excuse me. All right. Hi. I realized I had my volume turned off, and I'm glad I didn't just turn off my iPad. Anyway, <laughs> <clears throat> may I introduce to you the new prime minister, Prime Minister N. Take damage. <laughs> okay. I did a glorious black uh, backflip. Most announcers don't do that. Get my get my notes here and my Bible. You have to go to the side. Uh, I'm trying. Yeah, okay. Stop ringing the bell. <clears throat> Before we begin, I'd like to read a little transcript transcript from the Bible of Godism. <clears throat> emperor one, the first emperor of the Crimson Commune, lived a short <laughs> reign. The, the mountainous abode of the Goat Supreme was discovered by Goldfish Baron, and with the help of Tyra Walker, the two brought the first emperor across the great desert and rolling hills of the vast heartlands. At last, emperor, I was brought to the Crimson Compound, where the two pilgrims attempted to secure his safety. But in the end, the Goat Supreme had his own design. Emperor, I dove his mind and body into the wall. Slaying his vessel of flesh, hair, and horn, releasing his eternal spirit back into the mountains. That was the first trial Look. that. Sorry. <laughs> ah. I think that was the third emperor. Anyway, anyways. Uh. Stop. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Someone just left. Oh, I guess it was Sam. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, well. She's still in BC. Anyway. <clears throat> no, she left the BC. I will stabilize this rapidly declining system. Permanently. In honor of May the Emperor give me strength. Hurrah! 
Yay. So, I... <laughs> so, I'm just going to continue reading. Okay, let's moving on. <clears throat> Emperor 3. Emperor 3 lived the longest reign of all the emperors. Brought to the compound by holy servants, Buckley and Tyre, he made his home in the Goatly Sanctuary. There, the wise pilgrim Buckley decided to give his majesty a voice that could be heard by mortals' ears, seen through the eyes of the worthy and unworthy souls, so that all could bask in the wisdom of the emperor and may catch a glimpse of his grand design. Emperor Three would outlaw four items of heresy, and in that same faithful night would demand tribute, penance, sacrifice, and would even partake in mortal pleasures such as pranking, deceiving Tyre for a short time. His majesty was so enthralling in his in all his perfect ways that he very nearly caused Warped Citizen, now King, a who funky to switch sides and join the Crimson. It was during this time of uncertainty that the goldfish would be taken by the schemes of the Warped. Goldfish was always inflicted with a sense of balance. It was thanks to he and Tyre that the compound and great farm were built, and the Crimson Valley lit like a beacon of torch fire. It was thanks to them that the Crimson remains united, unlike the Warped who have developed a sense of isolationism. They were no match for the Crimson Commune. Goldfish joined the Warped and has since then aided in their decoded. <laughs> Yet for the Goat Supreme can still be seen in the shrine built upon his plateau by a tire, a statue dedicated to the Great Emperor III. But this age of bliss and enlightenment would not last for Emperor III had another plan in mind. The Gelt Supreme had a grand design in which the universe and all things within it are governed. All that happens, however, unexpected or sudden in the eyes of mortals, was planned by him. Who the frick is changing their settings in the middle of my frickin' reading? Who was it? I wasn't not, changing. Not, not me. Mm -hmm. Right, I should take my- oh, my script here. <clears throat> Anyways. Yay. Whoa! I'm clapping for myself here. Beautiful. Would you guys like to say any word? would you like to say any words? Wise words. Nice. Wise words, nonetheless. I really want an enchanted bow. I miss my old enchanted bow. This is just three skeletons. It's not too good, but it has a breaking three, power three punch. I got power. Mine only has power two. You know, honestly, literally any kind of enchanted. Wise words. Literally any kind of enchantment is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Like even low, even yeah. if you don't, even low level enchantments. You though if are... you want to enchant it for like something better in the future, though, I mean, I guess you can use a grindstone, though. I kind of forget about that. Yeah, yeah, you could, but you know, if you just have okay. a single enchantment table, no bookshelves oh. or anything. That's good. Yep. Okay, Max, it's your turn. Alrighty. But can we all take a and, take a uh, minute to like to say how impressive it is that they write all of that of that no, was that Donovan or Devin that wrote that? I have no idea. Who is it by? It's a, it's by the high priest. I think that was Donovan, no. but I well, might be mistaken. Or maybe he was gonna do the history of the emperors. Oh, hey, I don't know. He was hey, gonna do something like that, but Hey Evan, look, it's that sheep. I'm not sure. Is that sheep that was Interrupting your speech. XP. Yeah, I know. XP. I noticed how you brutally <laughs> murdered him before. Uh, the future prime minister of the Crimson, uh, uh, the great prime minister, uh, uh, Buckley. Woo! Greetings, greetings. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate me and my inauguration as prime minister. For I have been burdened with glorious purpose, and that purpose 
is to lead the crimson in these dark times between emperors and empresses, and to act as the voice of the new empress once the heir is reinstated, or instated. Oh, I was hoping there was going to be a chicken there. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> anyways, where was I? Yes. Uh, I will be the voice of the... <laughs> I will be the voice. I will be the voice of the Empress, and I will be the fist, if need be, of the Empress. For soon, all of the Crimson's enemies will know that there is one true empire, and there will always be one true empire. Oh. The Crimson. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, thank you, thank you. Woo! Whoa! I will say. Would you like to read? I, from, I debated. Would you like to read from the ghosts of scripts? Uh, you can. I'm just. <laughs> I uh, I that was entirely improv because uh, instead of preparing the speech this morning, I decided to work on the pyrotechnics instead. Um, which sounds like such oh, a crimson no, thing to do. Of it uh, is. Yeah, that is truly a crimson thing to do. Yeah, nice. So that's what this is. This was like a freaking TNT yep. can, like TNT fireworks. Could I was you, wondering. Yeah. I are was you too broke to afford fireworks? Like cobblestone generator. Are you too? Um, I thought TNT was more dramatic. Well, you should have had TNT, TNT and fireworks. Dramatic. Yeah, but I used all the gunpowder. Well, yeah, but you should have like, oh man, man, having like TNT fly up there, fireworks.